Hi, 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 people. Got some classic British mostly speakers, some of the most classic speakers from the 1970s. I will go through them, tell you what they sound like, talk a bit about the drivers, and just generally give you the picture uh, of what these things sound like and what, how they're made, all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's go over here. Bowers and Wilkins, DM4, Rogers LS35A, the massive selling Celestian Ditton 15, BBC monitor, Spender BC1, monitor audio, uh, one of the sort of top of the range from their speakers really, or high up the range, Kef Cantor, bookshelf speaker, very thin, but Kef, you know, I'm bringing that in really to represent Kef uh, because they were such big players. Uh, and Bang & Olsen S75, European, Dutch, four drivers. Okay, let's just talk a little bit about drivers and then I'll talk about the sound and I'll kind of compare and contrast it all so you get the picture. But these are all probably the cream of British speakers from the early 70s, let's say that. Okay, let's start over here. Bowers & Wilkins DM4 their own bass driver Beckstreen Cone there's a lot of this Beckstreen about at the time which I think faded away and I think they may have stopped making Beckstreen so you know I'm not sure that Beckstreen faded away because it wasn't good it may have gone away because the, the, the you know big companies didn't manufacture it anyway their own driver Celestian Tweeter look at that Tweeter that Tweeter they're all the same Tweeter except that and this I think have a bigger magnet slightly upper you know improved versions this is the basic version HF15 Cole Super Tweeter and there Cole Super Tweeter they're the same tweeter might be different homage but they're the same tweeter nice veneered wood all these speakers are veneered some of them are veneered plywood some are veneered chipboard that also helps things sound good taut surface the veneer is nice and of course it looks great too you know uh, okay DM4s <coughs> Rogers LS35A designed by the BBC funded by the BBC spent a ton of money spent a ton of money on that too it's also funded design for a studio monitor the Spender BC1 and this Rogers LS35A Beckstreen Cone B110 Kef T27 Tweeter same as that Tweeter up there okay Celestian own Celestian made their own bass drivers yes and tweeters you know they actually made speakers from 1920s paper cone auxiliary bass radiator and that HF 1300 tweeter which is a personal favorite of mine okay Spender BC1 as I say probably well that prop not the most expensive this Rogers curiously it's probably the most expensive on the second hand market of all these speakers and then these would come second Spender BC1 the crossover in there is a complex crossover that's where the time and work has gone in so big crossover big crossover the two biggest crossovers on those two uh, I think Spender own or maybe Rogers a base driver and we know the tweeters now here that's a Kef B200 but it's a bigger magnet than this one but as you see these two look almost ah oh, literally are exactly the same or in fact that that uh, dust cap is bigger but this has a much bigger magnet than this one this is a big speaker it's pretty deep is braced in the middle it's quite a humdinger I really like these speakers uh, okay Bang & Olufsen now the Europeans you know I brought this in because you can't really do the 70s without doing Bang & Olufsen and that kind of highly just very stylish stuff that you only see in magazines really you know very expensive you know 
at the time no teenager would have had banging on Olsen you know unless he was uh, the son of a multi-millionaire banging on Olsen is the stuff your, your rich uncle had it was so expensive now they've thrown a load of drivers in here and these are good drivers uh, Siaz, I believe, made in Norway, S-E-A-S, Philips, I think, mid-range, Philips, I think, and this one, I'm not sure, might be Peerless, might also be Philips. Now, these four drivers, I always think when I look at these speakers, if they'd have spent, if it was in a big, bigger box, and they spent a bit more time in it, should be absolutely incredible. And it's not that they're not good, but kind of, the amount of money spent on the drivers doesn't quite play out in the sound but i'll do the sound in a minute for you anyway this driver here i think you see this driver in multiple speakers you know this is a winning bass driver that's what i want to say uh, i'm sure you see it in goodman's in lots of funny things like tanberg but this one paper cone nice and fast yeah fast not heavy bass but fast okay let's do this kef cantor it's a bookshelf speaker it's very thin they made these you know because people wanted to put stuff on the bookshelf i'm really putting this up here to represent kef you wouldn't call this a classic thing the absolute classic ones are the bowers and wilkins the rogers the spendor the Celestian is sort of classic in the same way as a, as a, a Ford Cortina or a, you know, Ford T is. They were mass produced and everyone had them, but they're not classically great. And that uh, Kef is not really that great, but uh, it's a big driver in a small box. It's kind of, you know, this is what happens. If you get the, the right driver in the right size box, you're on a winner. This is a little bit of a compromise that Kef did. This driver, you will find it in other Kef speakers, the much bigger boxes. And that's where it works best, you know. With that tweeter, T27, the same as that tweeter there. Okay, let me tell you what these sound like and kind of how they compare to each other. Okay, I'm going to start this end four drivers this has of all these speakers this will fill the air with the most detail the finest detail uh and even the bass driver with its paper cone and its speed you know lightness is airy so if you put these speakers on it will initially impress people now it's not that they that impression impression degenerates too much but they won't give you the the mass the magic sound stage you know the really refined detailed sound stage you'll get in those spenders designed as monitors you know everything is got right the rogers designed as monitors money spent all rogue elements ironed out they will give you the best sound stage the spender and the rogers okay what should i talk about there? let's talk about these bowers and wilkins i like these speakers very much i go on about them a lot highly the mid-range is is the the king here by a million miles so much just so much to get hold of you find yourself listening to voices guitars drums whatever all that stuff in the middle but this doesn't have as half as much bass as this this or even this one so know that but you know as I've said many times if a speaker gives you something good that you can really get into I can be happy with it because to get a speaker that gives you everything we might have to spend a ton of money so you know not everyone wants to spend a ton of money but sublime mid-range and very you know really structured really good I mean sound stage wise it will give you that sound stage in the middle but it kind of won't give you low down bass definition the only one that's really going to give you proper low down bass definition 
are those spenders to actually you know really know what's going on down there whereas these they'll give you a ton of bass and it will be in the room and really attacking you really you'll really feel it but it won't have real definition like a monitor would okay let's talk about them uh, so less than 15 massive sellers more or less entry level speaker teenagers had these all the time loads of teenagers had them they loved them a lot of people loved these speakers it would have been their first speaker is a fairly rich sound you know and this tweeter is so good to me when this tweeter is the thing that's in action you can be really happy with these speakers they have a simple crossover and you know things can kind of go a bit wrong with them uh, when I say wrong I don't mean like break I mean they can't cope with every type of music well and deliver everything well that's a bass radiator down there so you know these are probably the cheapest and the the least good talk you know to be honest with you um what didn't we do here rogers is the monitor this will give you absolute the best mid and top detailed but small small speaker but accuracy in the voice and the top end you will not find yourself complaining about anything they got all that right just doesn't have low down welly obviously not so small you know the ones that will hit you in the belly the one that will hit you in the belly most is probably them it's probably them okay what haven't i talked about uh kef cantor as i say compromised and mid-range orientated you know just not a lot of bass not really the, a classic British thing okay have I done them all I think I've done them all I mean I do really like these MA4s they are I would say a good example of a two-way in a big box just about makes the grade you know where you might find yourself wanting a mid-range so often in big boxes the mid-range suffers particularly in big boxes because small boxes are like mid-range drivers size anyway you know that's like the box that is in that cone there the b110 you can find that in a, as a mid-range driver in a kef concerto and it'll be in the same size box i think pretty much the same size box but these uh, monitor audios uh they are they, they, they're just not quite as classy and great as these spendors but it is a very big and enjoyable sound like if you wanted to have a, a reggae party you know if you like reggae these would really shake the floor and with detail you know now this is a big kef b200 same as that but that's a smaller magnet and this has got a real big magnet on it big box braced nice just nice just nice uh, a snare drum on here and a voice the human voice will be bigger on here than they are on here yes because the voice will be coming out of here and this is more refined and the mid-range will just be a bit further back and smaller smaller and further back are kind of the same thing but here the mid-range will be a really in the room with you a snare drum will sound a bit fatter and just fatter and louder than probably it should but it's very enjoyable okay is that it all veneered wood all good really you know total classic total classic total classic nearly a total classic a classic big seller but not a classic sound i've got to say and an example of what happens when you throw a load of nice drivers in a box which are good but you don't kind of quite perfect the design and that one's too thin okay that's it thanks bye for now